I talked about this to my email list this week and it got a lot of responses back and it's this concept of just be, basically of just being yourself. And the reason it came up is about a, a conversation I had with a client who was in town who has a guy in his market who is much more flashy, much more into material things and demonstrating this uh, you know, lifestyle that he lives. And, and my client, while he is on a similar you know, money scale as this other guy, he just chooses not to do that. And he just lives much more low key and um, he doesn't really flash his lifestyle on social media as much. And so he was asking me if he should start doing that or if he needs to change and go get some Louis Vuitton shoes or whatever, these different things, right? And the fact is, he doesn't have to do any of that stuff. He just, if you just be yourself, whatever that means to you, whoever you want to be inside and, and the real you, if you just be that, it's going to be the best way for you to grow your business. The reason is because if you don't wear a mask on your marketing or on social media and you don't have this online persona that doesn't go with who you are, it's not congruent with who you are in real life, then people are going to fall in love with a character online and then when they meet you in real life, they're going to have to then re-fall in love with who you actually are. And that's not what you want, right? You want people, when you meet them in real life, to be like, dang, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be like, right? Man, you're exactly what I thought was gonna, this was going to be like. Not, they got to go and figure out the, this, you know, which version is the real you. Are you, you know, like, where are you putting the mask? Is the mask when you're in real life? Is the mask when you're online? And, you know, that's when you kind of get into this place where people don't really feel like they can trust you. So the, you know, regardless of what you see anybody else doing in terms of how they're marketing themselves or the, the lifestyle they live or what's important to them, their values and principles and, you know, things they stand for and against, none of that has to change for you in order to you, for you to go have a similar level of success. Now, if you look at, you know, how much content is that person putting out and versus how much content are you putting out? There could obviously be a difference in those numbers, but it doesn't have to do with what he's saying or what he thinks is important to him. You have your own values, your own principles, and that's what you need to stand on. And if you just be yourself, you're going to attract the tribe that's going to love you online and in real life. And that's what's really important. See you on the next one.